Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. Hello, hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading today, Libra, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, of course. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, Libra, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does really help out my tarot channel a lot. And I am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me. Uh, also, remember, Libra, to use your intuition, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my weekly horoscope readings are just here to provide you some food for thought, Libra. Perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week. So remember, when you receive these messages today, that, you know, it may not all resonate. There may, how some, a card resonates with you may resonate in a different way for somebody else when it comes to these weekly horoscope general readings for people, right? So with all that in mind, Libra, let's just get into your horoscope reading today. So I pulled some cards, of course, to see where you guys are currently at in your journey. So let's just start breaking these down, right? We have the Ten of Water or the Ten of Cups for you guys. We have the King of Air or the King of Swords. I really like this card uh, for you, Libra. You have the Nine of Earth or the Nine of Pentacles, which I I just have to say, Libra, um, when I did y'all's pre-shuffle, this is the card, this Nine of Pentacles kept showing up for you guys in several decks. So I <laughs> uh, really wanted to get this through, but we'll get into this a little bit more detail later and I'll explain why it's such a good um, card to be seen. And then we have Archangel Raphael, the Lover's card, number six for numerology, Libra. So be sure to write that down to look up later to see how it correlates with your reading, as well as if you're open to connecting to Archangels, Libra, or your spiritual practices allow for it, connect to Archangel Raphael because he is reaching out to you this week. So let's get into your reading now, Libra. We're going to start with your King of Air or the King of Swords, Libra. This is your energy, I feel, not just because you're an air sign, Libra, but because of, especially remembering last week's reading, Libra, I know uh, you guys were starting to have like a better vision for what it is or how it is you wanted to execute a plan, right? I believe it was something along the lines of like, Libra, if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out because I really do feel like it would help uh, you receiving this message as well right off the bat. But yeah, like something inspired you or motivated you, Libra, to really start pushing yourself that really helped to give, give you a uh, clear vision for what it is that you wanted to do and how it is you wanted to execute it, right? So um, did I even read this card off, Libra? <laughs> if I didn't, honey, we're going to just read it off again, or if I did, rather. This card says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice and balancing mental and emotional considerations. So yeah, this is really, so King of uh, Swords is probably like my favorite card out of the monarchy of the, out of the kings and queens um, in tarot, because it's just such a, it's a card of just being very cool and collected and just very, um, you have a vision and you're staying focused on that vision. So let's get a little bit more detail, Libra, to see what's going, like, see if we can get a little bit more uh, detail on this King of Swords, right? The cards just come flying out, honey. Look at the back of the deck energy. Ace of Pentacles. So this already is just foreshadowing. Just really you going after this, right? I always say the Ace of Pentacles is like that blank check from the universe. And you get to write down, Libra, how much you want that to be amounted for, right? So this is very much so magician energy. I won't be, I won't be surprised if you do see the magician card in this reading for you. Because I do, if I were to compare your energy right now, Libra, I would say very much so exuding the out of all the major arcana the magician right now so ace of pentacles beautiful card to have just for whatever it is you're actively trying to manifest because that's how i see pentacles is like whatever your main focus is it, it could be finances it's the easiest thing to say especially since that's what pentacles usually represent um but i always just like to say whatever it is that you're trying to focus on that brings you that stability that's what um we're talking about that's what we're addressing so clarifiers now honey we have with you the four of cups, not the four, the nine of cups, Libra, with the 
Five of Cups in the reverse. I almost said Hermit. <laughs> and then the Judgment card coming in here. So Libra, um, this is an interesting dynamic because normally I'm going to just uh, show you guys this card upright so you can see it. But normally with this Five of Cups here, this is a situation of uh, moving on and changing directions, changing winds or yeah, just changing directions from where it is you were going. Um, when it's in the reverse, Libra, there's now almost a sense where something that you thought wasn't for you, um, you're actually kind of like reconfiguring and being like, mm, maybe I can make this work. Maybe this is actually something that would be, that would feel good for me, right? With this nine of cups here. It's almost as if something's happened really recently, Libra, with this judgment card as well, because this is interesting because it's like from last week, Libra, you really... Um, I think I even titled it something like you'll show them or like whatever, something along those lines, because I kind of gave the impression, got the impression that someone or something pissed you off. And almost as if in this week, through some type of action, Libra, something happening that no longer you are as pissed off or as negatively, negatively impacted by something, right? Um, and so now you're able to, it's, again, it just feels as if Libra, you have a clearer vision for things, things that you thought were no longer going to be um, part of your life or wasn't part of your story anymore. Seems like it's going to be making a comeback in some ways, right? You know, let me just give an example, Libra. Maybe you were trying to put some distance between you and like a family member or like a friend, Libra. Um, you know, and it was kind of like this remorseful, just kind of like a bittersweet moment where you're just like, all right, I guess I have to move into this new direction. Um, could it even be like a job or something, right? So when it's in the reverse, you're just like, oh, like actually, and you're coming back to it. You know, you're just like, you checked out these two cups here. You thought about the possibility of this and you're just like you know what this story this chapter isn't quite done yet so there is some chapter in your life libra whether it's like some type of passion you know this person whatever it is there's something that you thought was going to be done um in which is like case closed like bury it down six feet below and i do get the sense that it's kind of coming back in some way so i do actually want to get a couple more clarifiers on this like what i want to see like what is uh coming back for for you libra how does this really play out for y'all let's see justice card all right so did someone come in with an apology libra did someone come in and really just start respecting your energy um, uh, you know, this could be a situation now where you just feel like you're in your element now, more confident. So you can go back to, you know, if I were to compare this to like a, um, video game, right? You guys like tried to do like some type of objective, some type of side quest. And the first time around you got your butt whooped, honey. And then you're just like, all right, let me just, you know, let me just go and do some other stuff first. When I get more, um, items, whatever it is you need, then you come back and then you handle it, honey, you handle it with the judgment i love seeing the judgment and the justice card together so yeah you feel extremely empowered at this time libra i will say libra because i know there especially for my my peeps there is like usually like a little bit of resistance in terms of not allowing something back into your life again now i am going to be honest straight off the bat like i don't feel like this is talking about like an ex energy of some sort i do feel as if you know, let's say you fell off the horse with something, right? Um, I gave this example for another zodiac sign where it's like you fell off that horse and then from that point on, you're just like, all right, I don't want to do it anymore. And, uh, you feel like you weren't ready. Now you're getting more in your element and now you feel truly ready um, for what it is that you've um, been trying to do, right? Because with this nine of cups, this shows just like you feeling it completely um, fulfilled and just accomplished, right? You're sitting happy with where you are at. So even if you are just continuing doing the same things, Libra, I just feel like you're doing it with a little bit more swagger, a little bit more confidence. And I like to see that for y'all. Now we're going to be getting into this lover's card for y'all. This card says intimate relationships, carefully weigh your uh, decisions and good health. So this is regards to a person, um, Libra, I really do get the sense that, especially if it hasn't happened yet, someone's coming in with an apology if they haven't already, or maybe someone's just acting right again. Um, oddly enough, I still don't get like any type of romantical sense. So this is more so dealing with like families and friends and stuff like that. Um, but I really am going to, well, 
you know what, let me just pull some clarifiers actually before I start running your mouth too much, Libra. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with this lover's card. Y'all didn't see it, <laughs> but I just had a bunch of cards just fly out, Libra. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take these three though. So let's see. We have the Knight of Cups for you, the Page of Page of Wands. I don't have my glasses, Libra. Forgive me. Uh, and then the High Priestess. Ooh. Okay, honey. So, Libra, with this, I do feel like um, this is very much so coming in. If again, like the Knight of Cups and this Page of Pentacles or Page of Wands really emphasizes someone coming in with like some type of apology, something where it's just like, can we start fresh again, right? Can we just start over, Libra? Because this Page of Wands, I always say is my fresh start card. And so I feel like that's what this Knight is representing, is offering, just being like, hey, you know, can we just start over again, right? High Priestess card comes in of where it's like, almost for a lot of you Libras, you get like this sense of release or relief and that like you know you were right this entire time with something and now it almost feels as if like whatever the situation was they're just now coming over and like coming around to it and realizing that yeah you were right Libra that you um that you really are that you weren't crazy right um i keep on hearing like gaslighting i don't know if some of you libras have been just dealing with some gaslighting whether it's intentional or not um but again even if this is in terms of like an opportunity or like a job or something in that nature um you just naturally just with you feeling more in your element with this it's like again i feel like i even said this in your last week's reading too where it's like you may be even doing the same exact things that you've been doing libra but you're just doing it with just more swagger it's like you know i'll just use myself as an example libra because i'm a libra scorpio cusp you know i could be doing tarot readings and it's like just one week after the next there's like a shift subtle shift where it's like still doing the weekly readings but just how i uh present them and how i carry myself in the readings themselves just is different more like in my element less in uh not as much on my guard and uh, inhibitions are down that's what i was trying to say right because the high priestess card is a card of like very intuitive very much so in touch with the spiritual world but also extremely guarded very much so uh an enigma uh, very ethereal so i do get this sense libra that yeah i just feel like you're really you're going down your path and you're very aware of like er like everything's going according to plan i feel as if for you libra and because of this you just feel even more confident um in what it is and the actions that it is that you're taking and it reflects beautifully for you libra because we have the nine of earth or the nine of pentacles this card says enjoying life's little luxuries spending quiet time alone and successful self-employment now this is i'm really going to hone in on this because it's like this came out several times for you before libra during my pre-shuffle for you because this is i really want to hone in on the successful self-employment i really do just feel like you guys are libra like you're really finally coming out of a rough patch a rough transition and things are just starting to stabilize a lot more right you have that nine of cups coming in you have now the nine of pentacles repeatedly um it just feels as if now um just a level of like gratitude this is a very interesting energy for you guys libra to be in not a bad one at all but it's just very much so like libra you really have found like your nirvana or like your flow and your purpose so let's get into these cards a little bit more because this is like a direct reflection on the energy that you maintain right the energy that you have been um exuding during this time so let's get into this we have as the clarifiers the six of swords the king of cups as well as the nine of wands hmm. all right libra all right libra so this is as this has been part of your path you guys really have moved on like whatever emotional struggle because you could be in the same exact i don't feel like for a lot of you Libras, like your environment or anything has necessarily changed. It just feels like you have a better hold on like your mental health, your emotional state, right? Because you have that King of Swords, which is like the master of a uh, mental state. And then you have the King of Cups as well, where like the emotional part of it. So it's just like you're very much so in tune and very much for you. I would even argue, Libra, for a lot of you guys, you feel the most in control of 
yourself and just like feeling good about where it is you currently are at and that's why it's like reflecting um in the content and whatever it is that you're doing and that's why you start having a lot more um success coming into your life because that's what you're exuding right and that's what you're putting out there so yeah i do feel like especially with the six of swords this is that you're just moving away from like that emotional mental instability in some way right maybe some of you guys libra you're finally noticing your each time that you wake up like it's a little bit easier for you to get up out of bed um at um on some level right maybe it's just you you know feel like more inspired each day like you have like your purpose so i really enjoy this for you libra then we have the ten of water and the or the ten of cups this card, <laughs> I don't know what's going on either. This card says a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material, ooh, yeah, <laughs> your emotional material needs are met, um, and trustworthy relationships. Yeah, Libra, this this literally just compounds what I was just saying before. It feels like those that you hold closest to, you probably feel the most stable that you've been in a long time in your life you feel good about the connections that you now have in your life you know maybe you guys have gone through like a cleansing period where it's just like you're getting rid of those things and people and habits and what have you out of your life that like had you feeling unsure um and the people that you did let go of maybe some people like maybe some situations came back um with remorse and now it just feels like you feel better, like you feel understood, right? feels like now that you have like your personal life, it seems to be like a little bit more handled. Um, everything else starts reflecting in a much more positive light. I really enjoy this, Libra. This is such a, it's such an extremely positive message in the sense that uh, you guys have like normally when it comes to like those good flashy readings right you're just like oh this new love coming in this money's coming in honey for you guys libra this is just like a sense of like a reading where it's reflecting that i see you guys really in this process i'm like getting goosebumps i'm about to get teary at right now um <laughs> it just feels like a lot of you guys are now at peace with where it is your position in life is you no longer are having so much anxiety over <laughs> what is going on hello um mm. <laughs> yeah i mean let's just mm. i'm so sorry y'all <laughs> did i even show you guys these cards ah uh, uh, i am not about to be crying honey on a tarot reading um ace of swords we have a king of wands i'm so sorry libra and queen of wands wow hello ah you guys are just in your element now libra you guys like with this ace of swords you're going you're just making forward progress ace of swords swords really represents just again your mental stability and just feeling very much so you have a vision and your eyes are locked in in that vision and you have a goal in mind and that's it right both the king and queen of wands coming in for you like libra come on now this is just such a everything just feels like it's starting to line up very beautifully for you libra so i don't feel like i need to hone in on it too much more maybe this is just my excuse to like avoid talking too much about it so i don't get more emotional but um i really enjoy this energy for you libra it just feels like everything's starting to lighten up right so just take a deep breath libra if you are um still going through a little bit of a heavy uh phase right now i really do see things starting to lighten up really quickly for you guys like truly so now libra i'm going to get into your love and social relationships as well as your career and financial situations now so we're going to start into with you start with rather your with your social and love situation this week see what's going on there Let's see. Wow. Okay. Libra. <laughs> Very much so reflecting what I was implying, like with major arcanas, all the major arcanas coming in for you, for your social and love situation. This is such a, um, showing to me like such a huge transition process for this. So I really do feel as if like past connections that you've had that you thought were no longer for you anymore bittersweet moments right that you had to like walk away from i do feel like it's coming back some of y'all's paths are like reconnecting right because we have the unity card archangel sandalphon the hermit card archangel Raziel, as well as the life experience card archangel Kemwell. 
So this is just very much so playing into this dynamic Libra of where I really do feel like this is going to be a time now, Libra, where um, you're just going to be having a lot of good connections coming into your life. Anytime I see Archangel Sandalphon coming in, uh, I always see this per uh, this person, this Archangel uh bringing people together, right? Really start uh, subtly connecting people's paths together so your path starts aligning with others and you walk together in a path. I really do feel like, you know, this is going to be some strangers coming back, or coming coming back, some strangers coming into your path that really help you out, that have you really feeling good. Um, and this, I do feel like heavily, like it's just some old energies um, that you thought the chapters were over that are now coming back with, you know, having you feeling good. I feel like, a lot of you Libras, you felt like very isolated and alone for some time. And you guys are now coming into a phase, Libra, where you realize you aren't alone. You realize you do have people that care for you, love you, and um, people's actions and just your everyday, how things are starting to pan out for you, Libra, you're starting to realize that. So I'm really happy for you. Now we're going to get into my Libra's career and financial situation. See what's going on there. <clears throat> So we have the wheel card, Archangel Michael, or the Archangel's honey, the five of fire or five of wands, the two of air or the two of swords, and the king of water coming in again for you, or the king of cups. So Libra, in terms of your financial situation here, I do feel as if you guys finally have um, overcome this hurdle here. I feel like the two of this doesn't reflect it in this deck, but usually the two of swords is a card of like being at a crossroads. And I feel like that crossroads has been like your burden for a while. There's been some obstacle that's like you haven't you weren't sure which path to take, or maybe you're just like at this place of being at an indecision where you're just like not really committing, right, to anything. Because maybe you had too near the distraction, right? From like your social situation. Now with the wheel card and the king of water, now that again, straight up, like your emotions being more in control, you being more in control of your emotions, your emotions stabilizing. Um, and yeah, you, you start opening up more and that directly gets the wheels turning for you where it's just like positive, like things just coming towards you, Libra. It's very interesting in that how seemingly, how it feels like it would be seemingly unrelated, but it's like the social and like, yeah, the social connections that you have in your life were in, that was impacting your emotions really played such a pivotal role for you, Libra, in like how things were are, are and have been progressing for you. And so I feel like you guys are really going to have like this eye-opening moment being like, holy crap, like now that things like now that those situations are easier, you just have so much more energy to put into these other projects and these other things. So I'm really happy for you, Libra. But that's the cards that I have for you this week, Libra, uh, in this weekly horoscope. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, Libra. And then also, I do weekly horoscopes for all the zodiac signs, not just yours, Libra. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not honey, send them this video, or send them any video of mine, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time, Libra, I love you so much.